Hey gang, welcome back. It is Cameron Cowboy here with another video. Today we're going to be playing Iron Throne. And with Iron Throne, we're going to be talking about our research focuses. So here we have research. Um, looking at my Inferno event because I want to show you also that there are these super events. They happen every so often. They give you a whole bunch of awesome rewards. So if you want to focus your research or your buildings or your troop training, you always want to focus them on doing it during that event. So I only have a couple days left in this research, only about 18 days, so we'll just go ahead and speed that up. And if you think 18 days for a research is a lot, for us assured, they do have 5,280 day researches um, that you can actually finish within 30 seconds. I have tried it. I can confirm that every time that someone hits the like button, uh, the help button, um, also hit the like button in this video. Um, the like button also speeds it up. Yes. The help button sped it up about a year per help so that was insane that was a lot that, that was uh, honestly really awesome to see so we're taking a look here at our battle tree and you'll notice that well I quite honestly have it really filled out so research is going to be your best place to get stats outside of your equipment now this research will help you no matter where you are on attack or defense so uh your equipment can only help you in one place or the other. It can help you in attack or it can help you in defense. It can only help you in attack if your hero with that equipment for the stats that you want is associated with that march. So if you're sending two heroes out with a specific equipment, only that one march will have the, that, those specific stats. On defense, you will only get stats from equipment if they are appointed your guard captain or your guard deputy. So keep that in mind. Now, as usual, Fill out your battle tree. Focus on your infantry. Focus on your archers. Focus on your cavalry. Give a little bit of help to and love to your siege because in my next video, which is going to be about your troop formations, you will notice that siege are actually very useful in this game. You can give a little bit of love to your traps, not too much. Remember, traps are the bane of our existence. Rallies. Rallies are extremely helpful in this game. I haven't done a rally, so I haven't been focusing on my research too, too much. However, rallies are going to be the way to play to defeat people who are very strong in this game. So, go ahead and focus on rallies. Now, there's another vi um, one, and this is number of troop deployments. It just allows you to send another deployment of troops, so it's another march. That's awesome to do research. It's very pretty cheap right there. So I highly recommend you get that as well. Um, I'm currently up to six marches, and soon I will be able to unlock a seventh march whenever I decide to upgrade my academy any higher than it currently is. Now, rally troop deployment size increases the amount of troops that you can have in a rally. Um, this is great if you're going to be the leader of rallies. If you're not, you're still going to need to do it in order to upgrade the next one, which is deployable troop size which allows you to send more troops per march. So in order to upgrade this, you have to upgrade the ones behind it. So you kind of have to do the low levels in order to get the higher levels. But you really want to focus a lot on this because I was in Golden Moon and I was getting beat up by this guy with a million march cap. He had a million troops in his march. When I'm fully buffed up, ready to go, ready to conquer the world I have 500,000 troops so that is just absolutely insane now here's another treat it's just reverse order from the same thing and it keeps going from there I don't have a large enough castle so I'm not gonna bother you with the details now when we look at the crafting mode we'll notice that it's very confusing however we want to go ahead and make sure that we can craft, um, unlock certain things so some of these things that we want to be looking at are going to be one, our amplification of our base set bonus, which gives you a percentage increase on top of the bonus that you obtain from having a full set of equipment. That's awesome. We also have another set that, like that. We also have enhancement level expansion. So this allows you to enhance your equipment to a certain level. So if you want to have your equipment but beyond just the regular non-enhanced, you have to have this research unlocked and ready to go. Here's another amplification of base, base set bonus. Then we have the amplification of the immortal set bonus. 
there is a special bonus that you get if your equipment is immortal. That's why I was saying you want to make sure that you have a very strong chance of crafting at immortal because you get an extra set bonus from it. This research specifically increases that bonus by a specific percentage based on your research here. Now it keeps going, it's very similar, but I'm not going to bore you with the details there. Now when we go ahead and get into troop training, we will notice that these, right off the bat I'll just explain it to you, it's a plus. It's not a percentage, it's just a number integer increase. So this gives you a stat number increase on the attributes of these troops. Do not put a lot into your tier 1s and tier 2s because if anyone has level 40 gear, your tier 1s and your tier 2s are instantly dead. There is a 1000% to 2000% in, um, just instantaneous debuff or I believe it's a buff on the troop attack against tier 1 and tier 2 troops. So only train tier 3 and above. We'll get into that more later on. But you have to again unlock these lower levels to high, um, to high levels in order to unlock the ability to go further into your tree. Again, not going to bore you on the details. Your dragon, very similar thing. However, this is only when you have your dragon in your march. So, with this in mind, you want to put a lot of research in this because it allows you to also increase the amount of times that you can utilize your dragon per day and then the cooldown in order to be able to use your dragon again. Now, troop training. This will be the final thing that I talk about. Troop training, uh, hero training, I should say, is extremely important because one, it gives us a lot of percentage increases on our heroes, which will in turn increase the amount of damage we can do in defense and on an attack, but also because of the development deputy one expansion. These two researches are about 6,000 days um, after you have it buffed down a lot. Or uh, it might be, I don't know, I don't quite remember, but it's a 40 million power research that allows you to have multiple heroes in a march and multiple heroes on defense. Now, here's the catch. So, they show you, hey, you can have four guard, you can have an extra two guard deputies. Well, the game hasn't even unlocked that yet. There is no research that exists for this yet. So if you're looking for it like me, you spend an hour trying to search it, you're talking to the devs, you're like, oh my god, I need help, I want to unlock this, please assist me, I am stupid, I've lost my brain. Well, it just doesn't exist yet. They will bring it out, but not yet. So this is my cut and dry guide as to research. I will make further gui uh, guides getting more in depth as to what you should be looking for in particular. However, this is just very basic. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Get up to date with all the latest Kevin Cowboy videos. Hit me up in Discord if you want to get into the game. The link to download the game is in the description of this video. You get awesome rewards to do that. And cue the elevator music. Holy cow, there's a subscribe button! Smash! 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 I smash the subscribe button! Do do do, my name is Swag. Do do do, I'm friends with Captain Cowboy. Do do do, playing on throne. Do do do, time to kill the noobs. And scene. Thank you, Swag. I appreciate that. As always.